Hey everyone, this is Ross, and I want to talk to you all about Fig Mosaic virus today and why I think it is really a non factor. Um, here's what it looks like first. So, this is a pretty good leaf here that actually formed quite well. The shape is not bad, but you can see that there's spotting on here, there's discoloration. Uh, it's not a pretty leaf versus another leaf on the same tree on a different limb is completely healthy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, on some leaves you'll have more uh, discoloration, more modeling, more, um, more leaves of a, a poor size. And I think a lot of this has to do with um, a lack of proper nutrients. So if you are really fertilizing your trees well, they have access to lots of nutrients, this is not a problem. Um, among all of my trees, it's very rare to find a tree that even shows symptoms of fig mosaic virus in a, in a pretty bad case. This is my black Madeira UC Davis and most of the fig varieties of UC Davis that or that come from UC Davis have the, vi the virus quite bad. Um, and there's many strains of the virus, we believe. You know, you need to, really need to speak to a scientist to get more into the, the virus itself. But even on a tree like this that comes from UC Davis, you can see the productivity of this tree. You can see that it does have healthy limbs. You can see that, yeah, there are some, some, some leaves that are not looking too great. But for the most part, among all of my 200 plus varieties, that may be the worst variety that I have. It really, it really could be. I mean, there's very little fig mosaic virus on my trees. And I bet you, you know, anything that almost all of them have the virus within them. Every single one of my trees probably has the virus. And people always say, they always like tell me like, oh, I want your trees, Ross, because they're so healthy. You know, um, you have such healthy trees, so I want to get your strain of the tree because it doesn't have fig mosaic virus. Well, think again, because it does have fig mosaic virus. It certainly does. But because I fertilize them so well, I feed my trees what they need. They don't show symptoms of the virus and they don't, they're not impacted by the virus. There is one variety out there that's so heavily impacted by the virus that it is stunted. And since then, people have been, uh, it's so hard to propagate because it's been stunted by this virus that it's, it's quite rare. It's called Aishia Black from UC Davis. And it's such an incredible tasting fig variety and it's so rare that it commands such a high price. But the, the variety is so riddled with the disease or the virus that it's so hard to shake it. Um, but what people have been doing more and more is that they've been feeding that, that variety more and more nutrients to shake the virus. And plenty of people now have cleaner, uh, cleaner Aishia blacks to the point where it's becoming a lot less rare. People have propagating it at a much better uh, rate and there really isn't all that much to worry about even with that that even with that variety that has been such so riddled with disease so i guess the point i'm trying to make here guys is that there's ways around even if your trees have the fig mosaic virus there's ways around solving that issue you know uh one it's just not a fact it's not it's really a non-factor because two Feeding your trees the right way is going to be the, the answer to that problem. And even some people will take this even further. They'll uh, spray their trees with some kind of miticide because there are microscopic fig mites on most of our leaves, most of our trees that are transmitting the disease from one tree to the other. Uh, if you live in a colder climate and you have a tree in the ground, it's very unlikely to see uh, any kind of fig mosaic virus on your trees. Why is that? I think, well, because the mites get killed at a lower temperature and you don't have to worry about them. And they're not spreading the disease. They have much more access to much more nutrients in the ground, as you can see in my in-ground trees. 
you know it's just not a thing it's just not a thing that occurs so anyway everyone I thought this would be a video that um, I could share with you guys that just would shed a little bit of light on this topic because I'm, I'm frankly sick and tired of hearing about the, the, the virus itself it's such a non-issue that I don't worry about it one little bit um, and when people come to me and say Ross I want your varieties because they're virus free or they're healthy that's just it's just not right so I wanted to set the record straight and just let you guys become more aware of this virus so that you know what to do about it in the future all right everyone take care and I'll see you guys next time all right you can follow me on Facebook you can follow me on Twitter now and Instagram as well the same name as my YouTube channel at Ross Ratty if you guys want more updates I try to post more things on there uh, regarding all kinds of different content that you normally don't see in these videos. So, anyway guys, take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.